Hi friends, I wish you could <laughs> look at the room around me because I am absolutely surrounded by clothes and shoes and things. So I went to the Columbus bins over Thanksgiving when I was home to visit my family. I always try to make a bins trip. We got there like a day or so early, so I had a little bit of time. So my mom and I went to the bins. I do have a video of that shopping, thrifting with me. So if you wanna take a look at that, of course, it'll be linked up above and down below. But if you're just here for the haul, that is completely fine. And this is probably going to be a two-part haul. You already know that from clicking on the video, but I'm not sure, but it's looking from these bags like it's going to be into two parts. Columbus Bins right now is $1.99 a pound. I think I have that right. And I did get a lot of heavier items this time. However, my cost of goods was still below $2, which is fantastic. I got a lot of heavier stuff. I was looking for kind of winter stuff, maybe into spring. I was still picking up summer stuff if I found it and it was worth it, but mostly kind of in the winter type items. I did find quite a bit of shoes today. I usually don't get this many shoes from one bins haul. And ironically, most of the shoes were actually kind of summary items. So that's good because I don't have to worry about listing them right away. But I'm going to go through each and every item with you guys to show you what I got, what I picked up, maybe what it'll sell for. But just remember, these are all guesses. I have not typed them into my inventory and done full comps on all of them. Some of them I sell regularly. So yeah, let's get started. Um, the first one is kind of a really, really fun one because my mom was thrifting with me and she's always kind of looking for me and with me and she knows a lot of the brands, but she doesn't know all of them. And she kind of tossed this and I looked at it. I was like, mom, <laughs> but obviously, I mean, I never knew this brand before I started reselling either, but this is Notori and this is a beautiful, soft, cozy, robe. I found two of these at my local Goodwill retail store not too long ago and they both sold well and they both um, sold fairly quickly. One sold more quickly than the other. They didn't sell like instantaneously but it's still got the waist tie. It does have the sash which I always look for to make sure that is still attached. So I think that should sell between like 30 and 45 certainly. Another um, kind of Bigger item, but not actually heavier because of how light it is. I found this down puffer and it's a longer length, which is fantastic. And this, I'm just trying to see if it's got a outer logo, is Calvin Klein. This will be my like third or fourth time finding one of these puffers like at the bins and I always grab them. See, there is the Calvin Klein extra large and it is the packable premium down. And it's fantastic condition. It's in this like silver gray color. I've sold this in black, I've sold this in red. I think I've sold it in black a couple times at different lengths. And I'm excited that this is like the longer length one because that should get a little bit more. But I consistently sell these between like 30 and 45. And this being in such good condition, perfect for the season and that it's a longer length, I'm hoping that I'll be on the higher end of that. I did pick up um, quite a few things for my family that I'll sprinkle in here as I get to them. But this is just for kids, not for one of my own kids. And look at this, look at the Beatles print. I have no idea what this is yet, but I decided to get it because I think there is gonna be a Beatles mom out there that wants her little daughter in this. Here's the logo. Honestly, I haven't even like tried to Google lens it yet because I haven't done the research and I knew I was gonna grab it based on style no matter what. Uh, but that is the tag. And I think that is the only tag in it. So I don't know at first glance what size this is. Um, definitely for a little toddler girl. So I'll definitely measure that if I need to and get that listed, but it was too cute to pass up. Beatles is such kind of a fan favorite. I also found this tea collection. Um, I love selling this in kids. It always sells well for me. And it is a size two, so it would fit my son right now, but he has so much clothes and I grabbed other things for him that the ones I can resell, I might as well just resell them, but it's got the little bison on the front. All right, one of the fun things I found is I thought in the store this is vintage. It might just be made to look vintage, so I'm not sure. I gotta do a little bit more research before I actually post it as that. But this is a medium, like, Pokemon. I'm sorry, did I say Pokemon? Somebody's yelling at me right now. Pac-Man. I know they're different, don't yell at me. Pac-Man, like, pullover, windbreaker. Rain jacket thing. It's got a quarter zip right there. 
I don't know. I, I think that with this cool color blocking, this could be do well on like eBay or Depop, especially if it is vintage, it will obviously do better. Um, I got to take a look at a, a little bit more. I haven't reversed image search this either, but I certainly will do that before I get that listed. I love finding bread and butter and I guess I do have some spring items. Here are just some Columbia hiking shorts. They're in great condition. I do pick up Columbia. Sometimes I also pass on Columbia quite a bit, but these were really nice. It's got like a zip cargo pocket right there. Um, really nice pickup. They are a size 36 wide and they are the regular fit, but I list these for like $25 and they always do sell. We are in Buckeye territory in Columbus, Ohio, so I always have to rescue at least a couple Buckeye things from the bins, usually for myself or my family. But this was a champion one. I originally got this for myself, but you'll see a little bit later on that I ended up finding a different one I liked better. So I think I'm going to keep the other one and list this for a few dollars over on eBay. This is something else that I might try on for myself, but I'm not sure if not, I'll list it. This is a little Victoria's Secret like bralette. And I might try this on to see if I want to keep it. And if not, I will list it. Victoria's Secret stuff, Victoria's Sport, pink. It's hard to tell, but this is nice and strappy in the back. They always sell well for me. I usually list them um, for like $25 for the normal bras, maybe 18 to 21 for something like that. And at the bins, that weighed like maybe two ounces. It's going to be so light. It probably cost me less than 50 cents. All right, here's a really fun one. Um, this is cute. Maybe I'll have a chance to wear this before listing it, but this is Urban Outfitter size medium. And these like slouchy knit cropped sweaters have been doing so well for me this season. I really liked the colors and the like color blocking on this one also. So I'll probably list those usually between like 25 and 28. Ugh. All right, here is a nice Arizona Cardinals. I hope that's right. Is that NFL? I'm usually good at this stuff, but there's two different Cardinals. I think Arizona Cardinals is football and St. Louis Cardinals is baseball. I think I have that right. Um, so this is a nice NFL officially licensed medium. And I leave a lot of sports stuff at the bins, but something so substantial I think could do really well. Now I know I'm missing most of football season, so I might have to get it when it comes back around next year, but I'll list it either way. You know, pro sports, college sports, people wear the gear all year round, even when it's not in season. So somebody should grab that. All right, I did find quite a bit of bread and butter of some of my like mature type lines like I like getting, which is like Torrid, Lane Bryant, J. Jill, Talbots. And one of them was this Lane Bryant size 20 denim jacket. Denim jackets are so classic. They really never go out of style. They're kind of more on trend some years than others, but this was super nice. Wasn't gonna leave that behind in the bins. Probably list that for around $30. All right, here's just a random pickup that I thought about wearing myself. This is another Calvin Klein kind of joggers, but then I realized I had already picked up a couple pairs of joggers on a different men's trips and I kind of forgot. So I'm probably just gonna list, list this one. It's not gonna garner too high of a price, but we're gonna try. It looks like I have a bunch of men's stuff in the bag in front of me, but I've got some more women's trendy stuff coming up in a different bag. But these are a vintage polo by Ralph Lauren. The blue and white tag is the vintage tag the gold and blue tag is the modern tag but it's got this nice kind of checked plaid pattern these are the tyler short 100 percent cotton i like picking up things kind of in any brand that are have like the style in them because then you can be like oh i like these shorts let me go get another color or i change sizes but i really like these shorts so i want to get them i find that's very true in women's dress pants because sometimes you find something that works for you something that fits you and you just want to go get some more to have on hand here is a nice j crew i do like getting j crew at the bins especially in the nicer fabrics and this is an italian merino a 100 percent merino wool men's sweater in a size small. It's such a beautiful color, this like burnt orange. Obviously I'm missing kind of fall time, but I still think that will do well. Okay, here's a few things real quick that I picked out. These are actually gonna be in my son's Christmas present. I found a string this year, so I had them pulled off to the side. Just a nice little crew neck sweatshirt from Cat and Jack Target, as well as 
Look how cute. Little trucks and the letters. He loves trucks right now. This is also Cat and Jack Target. And oh my gosh, these are all Cat and Jack Target. And just a little pair of pants. So hopefully he will be able to fit those this winter. Here's a pair of Vans board shorts. I haven't done Vans clothes before, so we're going to try it out. I do like, they just are very nicely made. I mean, look at the little thing there. They've got this logo nice there. I don't know. I like the color. Hopefully a nice hip guy is going to want those. They are, I would call these hybrids. You can wear them as shorts, skateboarding, whatever you want, and then you can obviously just wear them into the water. All right, another classic that I pass on a lot, normal price, but I do like getting at the bins is Eddie Bauer. And this is an extra large classic fit, just button down plaid shirt. I usually list those for like 25. Love picking up Woolrich and I find it kind of a decent amount, especially in Ohio. But this is super nice. This is a stretch. Just trying to see. Made in Turkey. Just women's kind of hooded sweatshirt. I like the contrasting polka dot print in the hood. It'd be really cute if you just had it on. You can see that peeking through in the back. But really nice quality. Really, really soft and stretchy. It is a cotton modal blend, so that is why it is so soft. Just from the modal. Obviously, I like finding Woolrich pieces that are actual wool. Those are going to sell the best. But I will still grab Woolrich kind of with any material if it's in good condition. Okay, here's a sports one that I definitely need to get listed because we're in the right season. This is a Mitchell and Ness. If you do sell sports stuff or getting into sports stuff. Mitchell and Ness is a really nice brand to look out for. It is women's size small and it is a New York Rangers, which is hockey. Just a really, really nice full zip mock neck jacket. I know I pass on um, sports stuff a lot and I know a lot of YouTubers don't talk about sports stuff all that often, but I really enjoy selling it. I find it sells really well for me. Okay, here is just a Lewin Gray top, which is a loft brand. This is a size medium, so hopefully I'll be able to wear it once before I sell it. But it is so soft and so lightweight, and it's very trendy. They're very boho. It's got this like contrast stripe with the drop shoulders. And I, I find that it does okay. Like sometimes Lewin Gray will sell really fast for me, and then sometimes it'll just sit, sit, sit. And I think it's super cute. So I haven't really figured out Lewin Gray yet. I do just know, don't pay up for it. Definitely it's a bins price type brand for me at least. All right, a couple more men's items. These are Hylite, which at first I thought these were really good. And then I kind of looked them up on the way home and I was like, maybe they're more basic. So I don't really remember, but they're very nice um, pair of athletic shorts. Actually, would these fit? What size are these? So these are a size medium, really, really nice though. Very well made, very good quality. So hopefully those are something and I was remembering correctly. Then I grabbed this Adidas Prime Blue Extra Large soccer jersey. Um, I, I don't know. I, I've i sold a couple soccer jerseys branded with the teams before and they did well. So this is the Columbus Crew. It is one of the professional um, sports teams in Columbus. It does have branding and everything on it, but I figured we would try it. It's more of an experiment piece. I know I say this in like every bins video, so I'm sorry if it's boring for you, but I like experimenting with styles and brands and, and new things while I'm at the bins because it's a really low cost of goods, so low risk if it does not perform well. Um, here's a pair of Nike Golf, just classic black shorts. These are a size 34, Nike Golf Tour Performance. I definitely am going to start trying to load my closet with spring type stuff and cycling and golf are really big in the springtime. Also athletic wear in theory should start performing well at the beginning of the year because everyone's making New Year's resolutions and of course they want to get back in the gym. All right, here's a fuzzy. We're gonna come back to this fuzzy. I'll tell you what that's about and why you might keep seeing it. But this, if you can tell, it looks like just a piece of square fabric. So hold on, oh look, it matches me perfectly. Um, so I gotta find the top of this thing. Bear with me for just a moment, cause it is a garment. Okay, this is where your head goes. And then it's like a poncho 
thing, but it covers, I think, this shoulder and then this arm can come out. But this is L.L. Bean size regular. It's like a one size fits most, I think. But it's this beautiful plum color. I clearly like this color because I am wearing it right now. And I want to say this is wool. Yes, 80% merino wool. So I need to get this listed quickly. I'm going to prioritize the wintry type items, but it's absolutely beautiful. It is definitely one that I will probably model for the picture because showing this on a hanger would be ridiculous. You would have no idea what it is. So I'll put that on and take a picture in it. All right, this is a super pretty boho shirt. This is the brand Entro. I've talked about this before. It was in my last video. I think it was my 50 cent video where one of my local stores was running a 50 cents sale, which is it was amazing. So check out that video if you haven't already. Um, but this brand is sometimes sold to anthropology. It's not always sold to anthropology. And it's very boho. It kind of, to me, is a lot of like free people dupes. Like this looks like it's trying to be free people sleeves with this like waffle knit, um, kind of like an Urban Outfitters. So, but I have a few things that aren't listed by Entro. But looking back on them now, I did get them at the bins because I was experimenting. And... They were maybe older styles. This looks like something that's way more current. It is a larger size. So we're gonna try that. I will probably list it around like 25 or 28. See if I get any nibbles on that and hopefully actually finally sell an intro piece or else I need to write it off altogether. So stay tuned to my once sold videos for that. All right, this is a Torrid piece and it's super pretty. So this is the back. It's got this beautiful crochet lace and it is an open front kind of slouchy cardigan. Here's the sleeves. They look like three quarter length sleeves. It's this like really pretty gauzy texture, which has been doing really, really well for me. So I think this will be a good topper. It's great for just um, wearing at the office, especially if you're like me and it's always cold or if you need something to run errands. This could be good for church. So many uses. I do like selling Lucky Brand, um, but I don't find men's all that often. I am thinking this is men's. I am not 100% sure though. So this is going to be one of those times where I'm like, babe, and call my husband and he tries it on and then I try it on and he tries it on and I try it on. We try to deduce whether it's men's or women's. I will obviously also look up the measurements, but sometimes it's just easier to get it on a body and see kind of the cutting of it and which, which we think it is. But it is this like blue it's like slightly ombre see how it's more faded and it goes down that is intentional i looked at it pretty well and it is the same in all areas so it is clearly intentional it's got a kangaroo pocket on the front this is one of those things that i like thought about putting back because i had so much stuff at the end of this haul um it is 100 cotton so it's a good material and I had to get all of this back to Maryland. So we did bring the carrier on top of the car so I would have plenty of room. But yeah, my mom, I love her to death. She was amazing, but also bad influence because she kept like bringing over more, like I would sort through my car and she would come over with like more piles of stuff to give me while I was already trying to sort through my car. But she found a lot of good stuff, so thanks mom. All right, here is a Nike Pro. This is one. I didn't look over well enough. I probably should have left this. It's Nike Pro Extra Large, and it is Ursuline Track and Field. So that is a university or college. Um, so very, very specific. Maybe it'll sell, maybe it won't. I'll have to list it pretty low because you need an Ursuline Track and Field person or parent to need to find this. But I don't know, maybe there is a market for that. I was drawn to it because I ran track and field in college, so I just felt the need to rescue it. All right, I've got another stack here. Real quick, let me show you what I got um, to put in my daughter's Christmas present. So we've got a couple pairs of shoes here. I found these to sell, and then when I got home, I realized, I was like, these would fit her perfectly, and they are adorable, and she is absolutely going to love them. She will be able to wear these, hopefully, um, at Disney, like in the resort and to the pool and stuff. We're going to Disney this year. These are also just like a Converse dupe. I think they're like the Kohl's or Target brand or something, but these are in phenomenal condition. Those are great. Cute little dress. So boho. It's like smocked up here. This is art class, which is Target. Here's more art class shorts. 
These are Abercrombie shorts, Abercrombie kids, so if she doesn't destroy them afterwards, I'll either be able to sell them myself or take them to Once Upon a Child. Nice little glittery tie-dye shirt from Target. Some jeans, because if you have kids and you're like me, she destroys the knees and all of her jeans at school, so I got a couple pairs. I liked the button fly on these. These are Children's Place jeans. My mom was also helping me look for the, the kids because she knows what they need. This is so cute. Little love bug shirt. These are all the things I pulled out to put in her Christmas present. I think I have a few somewhere else that I'm going to keep for when she's a little older. These are Athleta Girl 810. So I might have picked these up either way because I would have tried to sell them. Um, but I'm going to be keeping them for her, of course. Little striped metallic. I don't know if you can see that with like the cap sleeves so much target guys oh my gosh cat and jack this is also cat and jack i'm realizing just a little t-shirt so if you're not already shopping secondhand for your kids these are all in immaculate immaculate condition there's so so much over saturation of clothes try to find some secondhand it is so much more sustainable okay and i found a shirt for my husband he actually just tried it on and he's gonna keep it. This is the Banana Republic Camden fit shirt. And I think actually he's going to be wearing this on Christmas Eve to church and we'll do some family photos that looked really nice for Christmas. All right, let's do a few shoes. I'm in the mood for shoes. All right. First thing are some Merrells. I love grabbing Merrells kind of in any condition when they're priced correctly. There's a little bit of dirt on here. I think I might be able to wash off, but otherwise they're in Really nice condition. They're just a pair of like walking flats, but I loved the color. The bottoms looked really good. I actually found matching pairs, which is fantastic because that is not always true at the bins, as you know. All right, these are a pair of Lane Bryant espadrilles, which I've never sold Lane Bryant shoes, but they are a genuine suede leather upper which is nice do you, do you see this cut right here yeah a lot of women's shoes have that i sold a pair of shoes once i think they were dolce vita and someone messaged me on ebay once she received them and said hey one of them has a flaw the thing is cut and i was like trying to remember and go through and look at the pictures and i thought it was supposed to be there and i hadn't disclosed that there were any flaws so I asked her, like, can you send me a close-up of what you're talking about? And then before she did, she messaged me back. She said, nope, sorry, just check the other one. It's also there. They're supposed to be there. So my bad. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. But these are in super, super, super good condition. It looks like Goodwill originally wanted $5.29 for those. All right, like I said, I got a lot of summary items. Here is just a pair of croc flats for women. These are a size six. I found a couple pairs of crocs, it looks like. I think I had a couple more, but I might have thrown them back because they were a little bit beat up. All right, I didn't do very well in the bags. Um, and the, the bags, they put like purses, backpacks, luggage, as well as belts and hats and other accessories. Um, and one of the things I did find though was this really nice belt. So really nice buckle. And this, it's it's almost like sunflowers, but this is a genuine leather. And this is Lucky Brand, which I thought was cool. So hopefully this will do well. It's a size extra large. I'm assuming it's women's, but it certainly could be men's. I'll probably list it women's though. I think it would appeal to more women, but I could see this completely being unisex. Grabbed a little pair of Sanooks. These also fit me, so there's a chance I might just end up keeping these to have as like little kick around shoes, especially since they're not um, marked in any way. Sanooks are always hard to find the size, but they fit me, so they'd probably be a seven. That's what I would list them under if I do end up listing. But things like that are so cheap. Same reason of why I got these. I know somebody else toss them back because they're like altered state doesn't do that well but i haven't tried altered state shoes so we're gonna try and they were cute too cute to just let roll away so obviously i'm not gonna list these very high 
but these are 8.5 they are a faux leather they're just man-made materials on the top but look at the little pom-poms and the leather I thought that was fun too big for me but I have plenty of sandals now because I picked up a bunch in my last haul that I already talked about that 50 cent haul all right these are sketchers but they are so good I don't know if these were ever worn actually because there's no wear on the bottom treads and there's actually no wear to the footbeds but these are the sketchers Lux foam little like cork wedges these are a size nine like a canvas upper so really nice I will be all set to get my closet going for the summer speaking of look at these look at these little girl chacos omg these are too cute these are, do they have a size? I'm not sure what size these are. Oh, they are a K1. I'm assuming that's like a child one. Maybe I'll have my daughter <laughs> draw them on because she is a size one right now. So maybe she'll keep them, but if not, we will sell them or we'll sell them when she's done. But I thought those were absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's do a couple more shoes and we'll save all the rest for part two. And do a few more clothes though before we close out here um these are converse they're a little bit beat up but i think that some like of my stuff is going to be able to take off that and make that nice and white because the rest of the shoe is so nice and i loved how glittery these were the backs actually look pretty pretty decent the logo looks great and they were just too sparkly and pretty these are a size toddler us5 and then last pair of shoes for this half are these abeo walking flat sandals these are also in really really great condition but also might not have a size which is unfortunate but i couldn't leave them i'm trying to remember if i even knew they didn't have a size or not but i'll do some comparisons and some measurements and we'll get it figured out. It is definitely annoying. And I do think shoes take longer to sell when I have to say, hey, please check measurements or listed based on comparisons. I do think that makes them not as appealing to someone. But they're too nice. I couldn't leave them behind. Okay, let's keep going in some clothes. These are some Lucky Brand men's. These are size 3630 and yeah really great condition i don't always get lucky brand because it's a love-hate relationship with me and lucky brand sometimes they sell quick and sometimes i can't sell them to save my life so i don't know we're gonna try out these i did pass on a lot but these were the ones that for one reason or another i decided to try okay these I don't know if they're going to do well or I don't know if I should have left them, but I wanted to grab them. These are a pair of vintage Pendleton Country tra country Traditionals by Pendleton. Portland, Oregon, made in USA. So I need to look up the era of that tag. I should be able to do that. And yeah, they're size 36. But Pendleton is a really, really great brand, high quality brand. So I didn't, I didn't want to leave these. I know they're dated. But I don't know, I think there's somebody out there that just wants high quality, that likes Pendleton, vintage stuff can do well. So we'll see. Okay, this one I got because it is new with tags. The original retail price on this was $59.50. It is a J. Crew flex washed, slim, untucked shirt in a size small. Just a nice classic J. Crew probably list that at like 25 maybe a little bit more because it's new with tags all right guys so it looks like I had sorted these and kind of folded them when I got home so we're gonna go through some pants these are I think pack sun size medium men's like joggers I've sold pack sun hit or miss I don't know if I've ever sold men's pack sun but I liked the beige. Joggers are definitely an in style right now. Beige is definitely in style right now. Here's another pair of Vans board shorts. These are a size 
32 in this like water graphic print. So I will hang on to these for a little bit just while I'm prioritizing all of the winter items. But definitely get these listed going into next spring and summer. But I've had some really good bathing suit sales recently. So don't count yourself out. If you have stuff listed that's summery, people take cruises, people live in all climates. You never know what people might be needing things for. All right, here is a pair of Chico's size two and a half short. Just a nice pair of dress pants. I've been saying that my dress pants have been selling really well. I had another pair of Lane Bryant dress pants sell yesterday. So I know they're a little bit boring. They're not as fun to list or photograph or show on YouTube or Instagram but they're just kind of solid sellers for me. They usually sell for 20 or 25 on Poshmark and or eBay. And when I'm looking at a cost of goods for like $1.50, they are pretty easy to list. They're easy to measure. I know I usually do like one extra measurement. I'll do the waistline flat, I'll do the inseam, I'll do the rise, but that's not really all that difficult. All right, another pair of pants here. These are Men's J Crew. The Ludlow, size 35, 32. I have said this before, but I like finding men's sizes when they're odd sizes. So normally you see 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, but those in-between sizes, guys need, you know, there's guys out there that are those in-between sizes and they make those sizes, they're just kind of rare. So I think the secondhand market is a place that Guys that need those sizes will come to look for it. So since it was a size 35 by 32, I wanted to try that out. All right, another pair of tried and true women's. These are Lane Bryant size 20 regular, and these are also new with tags. These are the Lena moderately curvy fit. I've done well with Lane Bryant dress pants and really well with new with tag ones that I like know the exact style of it. Again, I think somebody will just know that, hey, I like the Lena moderately curvy fit. I have them in black and you know what? Let's find a nice purple maroon color or let me get some in gray or let me get some in khaki. I know they fit, they work well for me. So they're gonna type that in. Here's another one of those fuzzies I keep talking about, if you can see that. Yeah, so I'll probably list these at like 30, maybe a little higher since those ones are new with tags. Oh my gosh, look at these fuzzies. Okay, let me show you right here. I realized eventually it needed its own bag. So I found him its own bag, but this is incredibly soft, incredibly fuzzy scarf. Isn't that cool? Very bohemian, very festival, perfect for winter. And I love the fringe trim. I love the stuff, but it was getting little fuzzies places. It is new with tags world market. It does not have the original retail on it, but I absolutely loved this. I need to get this listed very quickly for winter, but it got put in timeout because it was getting fuzzies on the other clothes. So we'll need quite a bit of lint rolling here once I actually get these all sorted, photographed, and listed. All right, here's another one, Fabulously Slimming by Chico's. I have sold the So Slimming and the So Lifting lines by Chico's, especially in their jeans, which I liked. These are Capri, which at the very, very end when I was trying to maybe go through and find a few items that I would put back since I had found so many other good ones. I've got a lot of good ones coming up, so stay tuned to part two to see all of those. These were ones that I remembered, okay, I have some Chico's Capris, and in my like tower in my cart, I couldn't even find them, and I was like, it's okay. We'll just leave them. We'll, we'll take them. They'll sell eventually. They might sell for a little bit less, but the Capri length just doesn't do as well, especially in like dress pants. I don't think there's as many people that wear dress pants in that length, but there are some. So hopefully one of the people that likes those will find it. All right. This I got a lot just because of the style. This like academia style plaid is very um, in right now. This is called a Glen plaid, this specific pattern. So if you have that, you'll make sure to want to use that in your description or your 
keywords. This is a Banana Republic size six, just mall brand. But again, it has the Ryan cut. So if somebody likes their Ryan pants and they're looking for more, maybe they will find mine. I didn't find, I don't think quite as much Talbots as I usually do. I like selling Talbots. Here are a pair of really beautiful cream dress pants though. I love this color. I want to find a pair of these in my size to wear to work. It's so, so great to mix and match in. Here's more fuzzies. These are, where's the size? A size 18W. Oh, here we go. And these also have the style in them. High waist, ham shirt, ankle. It's always helpful. It also helps find stock photos, which I do use over on Poshmark. Okay, let me show you a couple things for myself, and then we'll go through the last few pairs of pants before we wrap up, because I know this video is already long, and it's only part one. So here is just a nice little Ohio State shirt. So this is the one I already have worn, actually, and it is Victoria's Secret Pink. So that's the one I'm gonna keep and I'm going to, anytime I keep something for myself, I find something else in my closet that I can either resell or donate or take to Play-Dohs or something just so that my closet isn't absolutely exploding. This I actually might be wearing on Christmas, I think. I like the sheer kind of French dot sleeves with that texture and this is just Hollister, size small, but I thought it was super cute. So that I'll probably keep as part of my wardrobe. And then there's cute little Abercrombie top, little cropped, smocked at the bottom. This should be cute for like spring and summer. I think that's the older Abercrombie tag, but I don't know. I like the polka dot. Could be fun for Valentine's Day. All right, let's do our last few pairs of pants super quick. Here's another pair of Lane Bryant. These are a size 18. I just found so many career like plus size pants and I Lane Bryant my favorite category to sell are dress pants they sell really well for me I liked the cuff right there I liked the window pane check plaid style right there it's very in as I said previously all right I think these are all like Lane Bryant and Torrid that are left um here's a pair of Torrid these are a size one regular so one x and these are a linen blend which i was especially excited to find these obviously need a wash and or a steam depending on the care i'm not sure if i can throw them in the wash but definitely at least a steam these pull on waist pants especially in the plus sizes do really well so make sure to include that if you're listing and pull on waist pants they're just so easy to wear like i wear these in my size they're super comfortable these, I'm not sure if the print is going to help or if it's going to hurt, but <laughs> it's definitely loud. So these are another pair of Torrid 1R. I found these all at different places. These were not all in a pile. This was like four hours of thrifting. But again, it's this blend plaid, and this is in like a stretch fabric, not in like a faux type wool type fabric, if that makes sense. But they are also like a flare or like a boot cut, which is kind of cool. So I think that this will help it, but I can also see them taking a little longer just because it's a very specific buyer that will want to pull something like that off. But whoever does buy this, bonus points because I love them and I think these would be so cute to style. Here's another pair of those like pull on elastic waist pants. These ones are Lane Bryant size 22 and these are also a linen blend. So again, yes, I am already starting to think about spring. I loved the contrasting stripes. When people start getting outdoors, the natural fabrics are always um, kind of desired there. One of my best selling categories, cashmere I would say is probably my best selling cashmere is just Everyone loves it and it's harder to find, but linen I find a lot more and it does sell really well, especially 100% linen. All right, here's another pair of Lane Bryant pants. These are the Alley and these are size 20R. Another just pair of dress pants. These will all be so easy to list too because I'll do like a bulk day where I just list a bunch of these dress pants so I can use the same 
kind of methodology in my listing for all of these. And last but not least, man, I did not realize how many dress pants I actually had, is Lane Bryant size 20. These are also the Lena I think we had earlier. My tower just fell. And yeah, these are also kind of a nice academic looking pair of dress pants. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to pause there for today. We've been already going for quite a while. I have some really good shoes left, and then I have the two bags kind of of more trendy type items is what I would call it. These were more of like the bread and butter, lots of Torrid, Lane Bryant, as you saw. I think I've got some other really goodies. I'm seeing free people. I can't even remember what I did because that was like a month ago. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stick around for that part two video, which should be coming out pretty shortly. I'm going to film it right now. Just got to make sure I get them both edited. Head over to the bins hall if you haven't caught that yet, and I'll see you next time. Bye.